Good day, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. It's the 10th of May, and it is 20 minutes until 10 o'clock in the evening in the UK right now. That means in about 3 hours and 20 minutes' time, the newest Abnormal skins will be appearing on the Steam market, and we, of course, will be chasing after them. We will be doing our Abnormal buy orders. So, the Abnormal skins tonight are the Camouflage Net Garage Door, the Rock from Hell, the Reptile Hunter Face Mask, and the Military Large Box. Yes, over the course of this video, we're going to go ahead and figure out what potentially might be a good price to put down for these skins. And then, after that, we'll then discuss the regular skins these are the non-abnormal skins these skins appear when the rust door rotates tomorrow so we're going to go ahead and try and figure out a decent price for all of those and then we will proceed to actually go do the uh, uh, the buy orders and then after that we will then discuss the abnormal bar to support and then that should be everything we're also probably going to be talking about tomorrow's rust door because yeah it seems to be a little bit weird so yeah let's just get this out of the way let's move on let's start off talking about the likes of the camouflage net garage door so Initially, I uh, instantly pointed out that a lot of people like the appeal of trying to, you know, make a nice concealed base with all the camouflage netting and whatnot. Very, very nice. But, um, yeah. I also pointed out the price of the likes of the actual net, which is now pushing towards $15. So, for all of you people out there that want to try and emulate what other YouTubers have done with their videos and whatnot, where you can make a very nice uh, concealed camouflage base in a foresty area, how many of you actually can afford that? Because that's now $15. <laughs> uh, probably not a lot. So, by default, will people be happy with just this garage door? Well, this is where I started to question, okay, uh, will we be seeing any more garage doors fairly soon? Will we potentially see a, a situation where we see tons more marketable ones being accepted? Will we potentially see some Twitch drops? Well, I will point out, uh, there's two missing Twitch drops right here that, that were given away back in January for Trust and Rust. Uh, but in total, we've had 10 garage doors in 2023, eight of them being marketable. Now, with the recent or, or upcoming Twitch drops for uh, Twitch Rivals 3, I can confirm that there is no garage door, no garage door. So we have that one positive thing on uh, for us, going for us. But um, again, wouldn't be surprised if we see some more garage doors potentially being accepted over the course of the next two weeks for Most Wanted and complete the sets so yeah just because we're not going to see one for that doesn't mean we're not going to see any over the course of the next few weeks what's potentially going to be a positive for this garage door what potentially is going to give it a boost what's potentially going to get, keep you know the demand up for it well based on the amount of sales that we have right this doesn't seem super crazy uh, this ha I, I i i was actually expecting around twenty five thousand sales but you know probably because of the likes of the current csgo paris stickers that are currently out maybe everybody decided to move their funds towards those instead of rust skins that very likely could have happened which leads me to believe that there's a lot less of these being bought in excess which is also a positive so my current answer is, will the likes of the camouflage collection continue? Will we potentially see even more deployables? Will this garage door genuinely get a lot of usage and a lot of love? I am conflicted. I'm on the fence. You know, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Mishka, oh, Mishka and Svonsper go ahead and make a Arctic version of this and a desert version of this. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. But would it even have that much of a positive impact on the likes of this garage door? I don't think so. So, with this being $2.49, I am probably going to try and play it a bit safer, especially with the situation with the likes of Paris 2023. When we hit 75% discount on this, you're going to see a lot of prices going down. It's going to get worse. Yes, you might have noticed a lot of your rust skins have started to go down in price. Well, yeah, it's, it's expected to get a little bit worse. So, Basically, I'm going to sit here and say the likes of the camouflage net garage door to play it safe. I'm going to offer one dollar, and I am then going to push that up to maybe around one dollar thirty or forty. I am not fully confident with this. I don't think everybody can afford to actually utilize it with the likes of the rug. I think it will do all right in the long term. But I feel like over the course of these upcoming weeks, it very likely will be going below its rust door price. Like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. But if I offer maybe around $1 to $1.50, I guess. $1 to $1.50 probably is the uh, safer approach. I feel like that potentially will be the answer. Yeah, so you could do $1.10, $1.20, $1.30, $1.40, $1 $1.50, you know, all the way up to there. But wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if this does go below $2.49 and ends up struggling a little bit.
it was a nice surprise to see, but in terms of general usage, yeah. And I don't think it's as strong as a collection compared to the likes of the Abyss Garage Door. So yeah, the the Abyss Garage Door is still holding up very nicely, as you can see right here. That's you know that's doing okay, and that very likely will be getting more Abyss. We very likely will be seeing even more Abyss skins being accepted. So, yeah. So I'm positive on that, and that deplorable collection is doing very nicely at the moment. But with the likes of Camouflage, this took eight months to be accepted. And it's most likely simply because of the upcoming complete the sets. So there was a special reason this was picked out rather than genuine recent demands. A little bit awkward. Right. So with that, that's out of the way. Shall we proceed to talk about the likes of the Rock from Hell? So I was a little bit worried based on the amount of sales that this was having. I think, what was it? 20, 48 hour analysis. It had like 12,000 sales. But yeah, a few days later, and it's only just just under 18,000. This isn't a ridiculous number. This is okay. It's not, it's like, it's still a lot. Still a lot. You know, this very likely has around 20,000 in circulation. Remember, SGMM cannot track every single Steam account. It can track so many. There's a lot of private accounts there. And very likely, there's some private accounts out there that might have maybe a 1,000 of these. That's currently unseen. But the main point is, with with what I can see of here, I I think I'm still sticking with it. I won't be surprised if it goes down in the short term, so below its store price. But I feel like in the long term, and we see a lot more people playing again, you know, in the likes of August or uh, post-Christmas time, you know, December, going to January. Wouldn't be surprised if that does go above its Rustor price. How many of these are going to be appearing on the Steam market throughout this year? That's going to be a bit of a problem. How Does this look like it's got excess sales? I mean, regardless, you're still very likely going to see maybe a lot of these appearing on the Steam market. Um, I feel confident enough that I'm going to sit here and say I probably want to do between 2 to $3. So... Again, with the likes of the upcoming Paris 2023 75% discount, that's when loads of people are very likely going to be selling tons of stuff to be able to get some money to throw at that. Uh, Ruskins, of course, are going to be affected. I kind of wouldn't be surprised that Rock from Hell suffers from that. So my current answer is 2 to $3. You know, I feel like that's going to be reasonable. A, a perfectly solid buy order to have. Um, wouldn't be surprised if this goes below its roster price, as I said but, you know, as time goes on, when we get loads more people, I think a lot of people are going to want to spawn in with the funny-looking rock from hell, you know. We all use a rock at some point. If you're really bad, you're going to see a rock a whole lot more. <laughs> you can keep seeing a rock, aren't you? But, um, yeah. Rocks overall, if we were to take a look at all the rock skins, I just wanted to give this a nice little look. We do have a significant chunk that are in the negative. But, uh, yeah. It's mostly the recent ones. But when times are good, they were all actually doing rather well, weren't they? So I will sit here and say that's just out of season. This one's out of season. Technically speaking, yes, this is also out of season. So there's not actually that many of them that are in the negative. Uh, quite a lot of these rocks are in the positive. And the ones that are in the negative, it's only down by like around 10%. We're, we're going through bad times at the moment. And the bad performing ones are only down by 10%. How do they look when times are good? A lot better. I believe all of these will be doing a whole lot better. So, yeah. At the end of the day, this actually had less sales than the Frog Rock, and that's still only down by 11%. And that's getting held up by its goofiness. This right here, it looks cool. Goofy in its own way. Part of a well-established collection that people do like. But like I said, with the From Hell collection, usually during the year, From Hell skins tend to suffer when everybody comes back and plays the game again they're one of the go-to collection skins to get bought out and used a lot so yeah um a lot of people really do appreciate the deplorables i'm not 100 percent sure the likes of the weapons and whatnot but the deplorables for sure yeah so yeah uh two to three dollars is my answer whether you want to go safe go two dollars if you want to go a little bit more aggressive push up to three dollars you mean you could you could go even higher if you really want to you know how it usually plays out the higher the price that you put down the more likely you're going to buy these skins but uh yeah if it gets too cheap you might get screwed out with that but you understand that situation i'm sure so sorry about my nose i'm struggling um i've got i'm, I'm sick <laughs> i am sick sorry about this oh 
Right, let's start talking about the Reptile Hunter face mask. So, yeah, we're in a bit of a silly situation here where the Reptile face mask is, is abnormal, but the chest plate isn't. But it's most likely due to the fact that this has some interesting transparency, as you can see with the teeth. Very cool design. So the transparency is probably what's you know given it a higher price. But now we need to sit here and say, what's the future for this collection? So by default, you probably would have noticed it's mostly dark green. I feel a lot of people would appreciate that. But what me what people are mainly going to appreciate is if we see more pieces being made. So the main thing that we needed to worry about was, has anybody actually asked the skin creator, hey, you're going to make hoodie pants or tier two? And lo and behold, yes, it's happened. And yes, Mr. Jimmick has... Oh, Mr. Jimmick has sat there and said that he does plan to make hoodie and pants. So yeah, this very likely will be getting more pieces. And all of those investors out there, when they're if they're waiting, if they are waiting for the likes of... Um, uh, what are we going to say? Uh, if they're waiting for new pieces to appear and they eventually see the likes of hoodie and pants or tier 2 appear in a workshop, there will be buyouts. There will be speculative or rather anticipation buyouts because people are feeling strong that they will see a continuation of this uh, collection. Mainly the core pieces. Tier 3, tier 2, hoodie and pants. If there is a new core piece that gets accepted, the pre-existing core pieces, they go up in price very, very nicely. That is the usual expectation so um don't worry maxim i don't hear it and it doesn't get saved so yes i am looking at this with curiosity the amount of sales that we have for both of them uh not that much not that much like in the position that we're currently in the best thing that i could probably compare this to is elite crate so elite crate came came out back in like december time Cool, we're definitely going far back for this, aren't we? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and you can see Elite Crate's doing very nicely at the moment. Well, that's because it quite recently did get the likes of Hurting and Pants. So this had like 16,000 sales each. That, that was a perfectly reasonable amount of um, sales. And what happened when we saw new pieces, new core pieces being accepted? It shot up in price. Both of these skins shot all the way up to about $5. I'm not joking. Look at this. These came out during the beginning of March. I scroll down. I look at its history. What happened during the beginning of March? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. If you can understand that situation, if we see the exact same thing potentially happening to the likes of the Reptile Hunter, and we do know Jimmick is planning to make the hoodie and pants, then I would sit here and say, maybe you want to go push ahead and do a bit of a strong buy order on these two. So my current answer for the spe specifically for the uh, face mask is, I reckon I'm going to go between $1 to $1.40. Yeah, I'll push it up to about that. I don't want to go all the way up to one dollar fifty, or maybe I do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say one dollar to one dollar forty, right? So yeah, please understand this. We might have to wait a fair bit. A lot of people who bought these skins very likely will give up. You know, a lot of people get. Um, I I always refer to them as uh, impatient people. Yeah, impatient investors. But you know, if if we have to wait a fair bit. That's fine. Just understand that it, when it eventually does appear in the workshop, and if it does potentially get picked and accepted, the, the these these will go up in price very nicely. So yeah, one dollar to one dollar forty should be perfectly fine. All good. All good. Right. So now we have the military large box, guys. I'm just yeah. No, I don't really care for it. I, fun gimmick, silly idea. But you know what? Out of his recent skins, there were fun gimmick, silly ideas, and they're still down by a lot. That's down by almost half. That's down by twenty nine percent. So yeah, I just don't think people really care enough about this box. I just don't think people really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like that. It's very funny. It's very silly. Very cool. But I, I, I just, I just don't think people really will care. It's just basically a big green large box. Tee hee. I, I, I know. I know. I know. I know. Very nice. But I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I just don't. I just like. <laughs> Let me just show you the most recent large box skins, and you'll see it for yourself. So, technically speaking, you could sit there and say this is a collection because of all those boxes in reference to, of course, the in-game stuff. But I just don't think it's going to work out well. So, what you do see here are uh, skins from collections that are doing very nicely. Abyss, 
and tempered but even then they are both still going down in price a fair bit but even then because they're from well-established deplorable collections well tempered's you know obviously got tons of skins um yeah they're holding up very nicely they're more in demand whereas the likes of the recycler box crate box which technically is part of the same collection as this but it's not very solid it's very very loose barbecue box industrial crate and large rubber box they're all struggling they've all gone down in price now you could sit there and say twig large box Twig Lodge box uh, is part of a collection. That is true, but I, I think I, I, I think people just didn't care for it. So, regardless, I look at you, and I'm going to sit here and say I'm probably going to go ahead and do maybe eighty cents to one dollar twenty. That's my answer. I just don't think people care that much. It, it's just not super stand out. It's just not really to the interest of people. I'm un to my understanding, I just don't think people care that much for it. It just yeah, I I would I would. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if it goes below its rust door price. Um, and Dow uh, Wiper, hello, hello, good sir, how you doing? Uh, rust door rotations happen every Thursday, but the time for them is completely random. We just know it's supposed to be Thursday. So uh, I'll answer your question a lot pro uh, properly after all of this, don't you worry, sir. I, need, I now need to go through all of these regular skins. So we've just gone through all the potential prices that we might want to offer for the likes of the abnormal skins. We now want to talk about all of the regular skins that will become marketable tomorrow. So let's start off with the likes of the Stormbow. So this sold really nicely. We made a bit of a joke that it looks like the AWP from uh, CSGO. Will there potentially be more of this collection? Or will it actually turn into a collection? I'm going to sit here and say, I've already mentioned it. I, uh... I <laughs> he's already juggling two collections we've already discussed this many times he's already uh, juggling the lunar collection he is already juggling the pirate collection I don't think he has the time to do storm stuff immediately after this so if you really do like the bow by all means buy it use it enjoy it but if I'm going to sit here and try and figure out is this going to have a nice healthy future ahead of it with the amount of sales it's had I am worried um cool design but by default, the vast majority of bow skins do not do well. And you can see that for yourself right here. Down 45, down 46, down 44, down 36, down 46, down 28. Up 7, but it's part of an established collection. How very nice. Down 50, down 48. No mercy, bow. That's actually a bit of a surprise. That's down by 6. That's part of the biggest collection. So even then, even then, takes no prisoners. <laughs> Star hunting bow, oh, down 46. Comics bow, probably the only pure white bow we have. It's probably one of the most expensive ones. So, yeah, if I were to go most expensive, I'm a little bit curious. I'm a little bit curious. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, blackout. Of course, blackout. So, yeah, yeah, that is the awkward situation that we're in. Um, you might have noticed that a lot of those had less than 15,000 sales. This right here, it's probably going to crack 20,000. And that leaves me to believe that it's probably going to end up struggling. Too many bought in excess is looking to be a situation that this is going to struggle with. Uh, my answer is I'm probably just going to stick with a buy order. I reckon this will do better than um, a, a bad. Like I reckon it will do better than a bad bow. Um i don't okay uh a bad performing bow okay, okay yeah that's probably the better option yeah that, yeah okay that's probably a better way of answering this you see a lot of these bows are down by almost 50 percent down to around a dollar because that's what happens what happens is is people will just literally just convert this into metal and uh just sell the metal or use it to make a um a loot bag you know what i'm about uh barrel yeah barrel weapon barrel so yeah i reckon it will be staying above a dollar at the very least. I reckon it will probably be staying above $1.20. Um, so I will probably sit here and say, you want to do a buy order between $0.80 cents to $1.20. That's my answer. I can see that it has demand, but I am, of course, worried about, you know, this. And, you know, just because loads of other people bought it doesn't mean they're going to hold on to it. They're going <laughs> to they're, they're, they're gonna be loyal to it. If there's another cool-looking bow, they'll probably ditch this and go get the new one. We tend to see that with AKs. Teehee, but yeah. Um, 80 cents to $1.20. Reptile Hunter chest plate. So I was very positive with the likes of this. And we do know Mr. Shimmick is planning to make some hoodie and pants potentially in the near future. So my answer for this Reptile Hunter chest plate, I am going to sit here and say, I believe we could probably go for around 70 to 80 cents. You might want to push it a fair bit more. Remember, 
Jimmick did straight up say he plans to make and continue this collection. So if you want to be a bit more aggressive, why not push it all the way up to maybe about 85 cents? Yep, that should be right. So maybe, I don't know, 70 to 85 cents is probably the uh, way to go with this. Yeah, 70 to 85 cents is my answer. Now we're going to move on to the likes of the Missile Silo door. Guys, I just don't think this is... Yeah, no, no. I... I... I I don't think so. We've seen a lot of sheet metal doors come and go. Let's go see all the mo most recent ones. Sorry, I had a little bit of a yawn there. This is what happens when I talk for a very long time without breathing that much. <laughs> nah, it's just because I talk a lot. Um, wow, that's gone down 25% already. Uh, yeah, we were literally in the position last week. We were trying to figure out where this was going to end up at. And wow, that's already down by 25%. So, uh, uh, my default. I'm sitting here and saying I don't think this is in demand. I don't think people will care enough about this afterwards. My answer for this, for the price that I'm willing to offer for this, 70 to 90 cents. Yeah, I'm going to do 70, 90, 70 to 90 cents. Maybe even less. Maybe even less. Sheet metal door skins we have a lot of. I, I will just kind of point that out to you. We have a lot of sheet metal door skins. And you know what? We'll go take a look at the lowest price one. So if we go by lowest price, which I believe it is by default in terms of the search system on SEMM, the cheapest one is 75 cents. And there's a lot of 75 cent skins right here. Wow. There is a lot of 75 cent sheet metal door skins. Well, I should point out there's 180 different sheet metal door skins that exist. So um, you could bid, you could bid lower. You could bid lower than 75 cents, and then you'd definitely know you'd be getting them for cheaper. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's kind of given me a bit of a change in perspective. Maybe we'll do 60 to 80 cents by order. Yep, there you go. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, Artifact Thompson. There is, a bit of a, there is a bit of a problem for this. Yes, I was sitting here and I was talking about how we rarely ever see that many Thompson skins being accepted. Thompson's always in demand. Thompson's usually always being a very reliable investment. I still stick by that, but there's something that's going to be happening next week, and that is we have a Twitch Rivals Thompson drop, and JL Tommy is dropping a Thompson here. So we're actually getting, uh, you know, we're getting some Thompson skins is what I'm pointing out. We're getting more free Thompson skins. So this might have a bit of a negative impact on this. I just wanted to point this out. But I still stick by my word. Thompson skins tend to be very reliable investments. When times are good, every single one of them tends to be in the positive. And a lot of people who return to play the game, they are they actively look forward to wanting to use a Thompson. And they love to use the Thompson skins. We see the Thompson skins reliably rise up in price during these good times. So I will stick with my word. And I will think that... I, I still think that there will be doing nicely in the future in the long term still a perfectly fine thing to put your money towards if you need to spend money and you wanted to know what most likely will be going up in price in the future i still stick with i'm expecting it to be the thompson as the best thing to potentially go above so yeah that's my answer for this it's still okay as a long-term investment but if you want to do a solid buy order you could do one dollar to one dollar fifty you could probably push up to one dollar sixty or seventy honestly honestly I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Post Christmas time, probably going to go up by at the very least 50% of its Rustall price. Sell for around $3 or more. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Now we've got the low poly hatchet and, of course, the pickaxe. So, with the likes of these two, I did point out how hatchets and pickaxe skins, they just don't really hold up their value at all. All you have to do is take a look at the most recent ones. Now, you will be uh, alarmed to see the Wasteland hatchet. I'm just going to quickly point out to you it is being pumped. That is a manipulation. Do not be tricked by that. It's an anomaly, so we're not going to count this. But this is down by 50. This is down by 50. This is down by 51. This is down by 35. This is down by 46. This is down by, this is down by 51. This is down by 52. Yeah, they end up becoming metal fodder. People just turn them into metal and then sell the metal or turn it into a weapon barrel. You get the idea. So, yeah, the, the hatchet skins, pickaxe skins, yeah, they, they're hand in hand. They are not reliable investments. You could just sit here and say, okay, what should I do then? And I always say, with the likes of weapon skins that aren't looking to be doing very well in the future, 70 cents, 90 cent buy orders for those skins. So, yep, the low poly hatchet and pickaxe, 70 cents, 90 cents. That's my answer for those two. All good? All right, perfect. So, oh, sorry about this. Again, I have a very weird... I can't tell if I've got allergies or a virus. It's weird. Oh, I've got to breathe. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that. 
so yes on may 16th we have the twitch rivals event starting 23 skins to potentially get there are five generic drops there are 18 streamer skins and if you want to be able to see all of them just go to google type in twitch face punch and here they are yep it's right there top link scroll down so remember people you can only get progress on one of these at a time all right please remember this so what you can do is you can log on to your Twitch account on a different browser. You can watch someone on said, you know, tab on that browser. But if you, all you need, right, is to have your music on on the Twitch, but then you can mute the tab and you could just have that in the background. And that does progress. But yeah, if you're thinking, ha ha, I can just have all 18 tabs at once and I'll progress them all at the same time. I, I don't think it works that way. You will only get progress on one thing at a time. So strategize think who's going to be streaming a whole lot more compared to all the others and then you know prioritize the types of skins that you want more and yeah so now you've got a you've got a few days to figure out who am i going to prioritize the most who am i going to want which skins am i going to want the most now by default i will sit here and say twitch rivals will be streaming on 100 every single day they will only be streaming for a certain amount of time but um yeah i'm sure you can get the idea that it's probably safer to leave that for the final two days focus the streamer skins and then yeah move your way up to potentially doing those and with the generic drops you will be getting a generic drop progress along with a streamer skin progress all right that will be happening so don't worry about these too much they'll be happening uh in parallel to whoever you're watching and getting progress on over here makes sense all good so lovely now what it also seems to be a case of is you need to watch the first person to get the second person skins it does quite literally say that requires previous side uh, team drop to get the next drop cool 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 very nice now <laughs> tomorrow 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 we have the likes of uh most wanted ooh, most wanted we have most wanted uh as the rust or rotation we do not know what this is and apparently that german guy tgg doesn't know what this is because uh he's not actually he did not have to make a uh, collection this week for it it's going to be a massive surprise to all of us, except Helk. Apparently, Helk is quite literally picking all the skins himself. That is apparently the situation. So, for tomorrow's skins, we have no idea what to expect. Now, I have theorized, naturally, you did. We could probably go over to here. I have been theorizing that it's probably going to be some skins that we missed out on fairly recently in terms of they had a lot of support on, you know, you, you know, you can vote for skins and whatnot. You know, a lot of people really do desire a certain skin and uh, they, you know, favor it. They follow it. They you know, upvote it. And then some of those skins don't actually get accepted. I'm looking at the likes of the Tempered Sheet Middle Double Door. I'm looking at the likes of the uh, Comics Tier 2 and Tier 3. Um, what else was there that we saw that was really cool? Uh, the Armoured Armoured Door. Yep, yep, yep. There's loads of things like that that weren't accepted. But they had a lot of support and they had a lot of votes. They had, Yeah, they had very high scores. Well, I believe that's what we're going to potentially see tomorrow. I'm pretty sure uh, you might have noticed this as well that face punch have been pushing a lot with their uh, data so the reason why i mentioned this is because they're actually keeping track now for every single uh, skin that is claimed so they're going to be keeping track of all of that that's an interesting little thing so i wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow really does commit to the idea of we're going to be seeing some skins that had a lot of votes you know i vote yes i want this i need this but weren't accepted and uh well we'll just go ahead and see what do you reckon do you reckon we'll potentially see the likes of um some uh you know camouflage uh poncho with a burlap head wrap or do you reckon we potentially might see the likes of uh the forest raiders burlap set do you reckon that would be cool you know something like that something really cool so yeah uh we can't really vote or anything <laughs> all of these skins had their chance before to potentially get picked but they weren't picked even though they had a lot of support this right here this this whole set had a ton of support can you see the people by the way there's four people in this image right now can you spot all of them <laughs> so yeah tomorrow's going to be a big surprise for all of us we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens so you better be ready now when will that rust door happen i have no idea it's expected to happen on the thursday but will it be an early rust door i don't think so i still reckon it will happen around seven o'clock eve in the evening uk time and i will be streaming so 
yeah i will be streaming i will be there and i will say hello if you pop in and say hello as well so yeah simple as that simple as that so now gentlemen we've gone through all of the skins we've discussed the potential new rust or tomorrow so i guess we're gonna have to skip ahead and we're gonna do the builders later on so let's go do that right now well chat here we are best of luck to all of you four skins to chase after best of luck to all of you here we go it's time to race each other and hopefully I beat you. De -de 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 -de. Right, it's one o'clock and here we are. Chasing after the rock first. Here we go. Yes, 890 builders ready. <sighs> Typical. <laughs> what, you, what, what, what do I even do? How, how am I supposed to compete with that? How? <laughs> how? And we go over to here. Oh, wait, no, uh, not yet. Uh, uh, we've still got these to do as well. I've completely forgot. I had a bit of a stupid moment there. Happens to the best of us, unfortunately. And uh, still no large box, probably because people did probably buy it. Anyway, so we'll skip ahead and then we'll talk about uh, support afterwards. Right, gentlemen, it's just been over six minutes and we're going to go through all the skins now, see what the support looks like for all of them. So here we are with the likes of the $4.49 Rock From Hell and the Builders. Well, they're only going up to three and a half dollars. Yep, well, that was kind of expected. But I do stick with my point. I fully believe by the end of this year it will be going above its rust or price at some point. Like, kind of would be surprised. But, you know, how things are, you know, eventually after post-Christmas it will go down to price all over again. It's, it's from Hell Skins. That's just the way they are so yeah uh i made a bit of a fuss there was 890 by orders within a nanosecond so <laughs> pretty sure that one's not a legit by order i think that's probably done by a bot and uh, that's probably yeah that probably as well so yeah it all added up to like 890 not sure what, what what it probably was but yeah uh they're they're still here the bots that's what it is anyway 1500 plus requests to buy uh looking pretty good the bulk of the buy orders, though, well, they are around a dollar, but they push all the way, strongly all the way up to around two and a half dollars. And then, of course, you got this little bit here. That's three dollars. I'm, I'm this one. I'm this one. I'm that one right there. So it's look, you could be judgmental, Mr. Metatron. But at the end of the day, people do like the From Hell collection. Will they appreciate it on a rock? We shall see. Uh, will this be go below its rust or price? Wouldn't be surprised, but we will end up afterwards we shall see <laughs> so yeah as of now it doesn't look like it'll be holding up its uh, four dollar 49 price so if you genuinely wanted to buy this rock you could probably just put down a four dollar buy order you know just go ahead put a strong buy order down pick them up for 49 cents cheaper easy probably it wouldn't even be that hard so if you genuinely want it that's one of the options you could go for if you wanted to if you were thinking about buying it as a potential thing to flip later on again just do a high buy order you would be you you wouldn't be surprised to see that you pick them up like yeah as of now that's what we could see here i don't know what it's going to look like tomorrow but anyway let's move on to the camouflage net garage door what, over 1200 uh requests to buy uh, yep this is a two dollar 49 skin bulk of the builders whoa it all around what is going on here what's with all of this here that is very weirdly very jam-packed anyway uh over a dollar yeah, it's all there, and then it pushes all the way up to here. This is me, and I might remove my buy order and go a bit lower. Because I get the feeling I don't think this guy's going to hold up his uh, his price, and I could probably pick these up for about a dollar fifty later on. So yeah, yeah, I uh, yeah, I might I might do that. So yeah, I don't think this is going to hold its value. I yeah, it's not going to hold that two dollar forty nine value. So if you really really want a whole batch of these, you could just put down a two dollar buy order, and you wouldn't be surprised to pick these up for forty nine cents cheaper. Yeah, so exactly exactly the same as the rock from hell. And uh, then we got the reptile hunter. Well, this is looking pretty strong. Again, that's me. <laughs> I uh, I might lower my buy order in that one. I might I might yeah I might do that. But uh, I was just trying to figure out like. Should I? Shouldn't I? I went for it, but now that I see how this is all layered out, I might change that. But yep, this is a $2 skin, $1.99 skin. And well, as you can see, most of it is around below a dollar, but it's got a, v got a lot. It's got a lot of buy orders all above a dollar, going all the way up to $1.50. But I reckon I might go one. I might go 140 or something. That's what I might do because I don't think that's going to hold up forever. And then after that, it's not that much competition. So yeah, I'm probably going to do 140. Yeah, I'll probably do that. 
So, yep, uh, that will be a change I'll do. But, yep, it, for a $2 skin, for skins to go all the way up to $1.50 at the very least, yeah, that's that's looking to be very strong. But, again, it all matters based on whether we actually see more skins and will they actually be accepted. I fully believe Jimic will be continuing this. It's just a matter of will we actually see those reptile hoodie and pants or uh, Tier 2 being accepted. That's the main thing that we have to keep an eye out for. And hopefully, potentially, we've got some very interesting looking uh, crocodile camouflage skins. So, yeah, very nice. And then we've got the military large box. Hardly any interest. It's unfortunate. This is a $1.49 skin. Uh, wait, was it $1.49? It doesn't matter. People don't care for it. <laughs> People don't care for it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, bulk of the build was around 17 cents, 90 cents. Not surprised in the slightest. That's the way it is. So, yeah, that might be a bit of a surprise to you, but it's not to me. It's not to me. So, yeah, um, that's not going to hold up its value. So let's hop back over to here. Let's get a good look at what these are. Yep, so we've got the prices here now. And, of course, they're not going to hold these prices. You understand that. So I guess now what we have to do is wait for the rust or rotation tomorrow. When might it happen? No idea. Is it going to be early? I doubt it. Uh, we're not having an update next week, so I wouldn't expect an earlier rust or rotation. But what you could do is keep an eye on Mr. Helk's Twitter, because apparently he's the only one that will be uh, the one that picks the skins tomorrow, apparently. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he might announce it beforehand, so probably a nice little thing to do. Other than that, people, I don't know what to expect. I really do not know what we're going to see tomorrow. I kind of went with i had a bit of a chat my i had a bit of a chat with my chat that sounds awkward to say <laughs> but we're discussing things like in the past we saw we generally saw the likes of the tempered sheet metal double door had more interest compared to the abyss garage door but the abyss garage door got picked over it uh, we saw a whole bunch of comic stuff we saw some weapons retro wave garage door as well they they all had a lot of interest but they weren't picked is it going to be based on interest or is it just going to be based on what help likes i don't know I do not know. We shall see. So, yeah, that's basically it. We talked about everything we could. Let's see what actually gets picked. So, best of luck to all of you. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely sleep. And I'll see you all tomorrow because I'll be streaming tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. UK time. And, uh, yeah, all good. So, catch you later. See you and goodbye. Have a good one.